What's going on YouTube? Captain Charles here with another episode of Takizi TV and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different for you. I'm going to be going over my three go-to cast nets while charter fishing. These are the three main nets that I use down here in Isla Mirada to catch all my bait. They're all made by Betts Tackle, they're the Mirada Edition. The reason why I choose the Mirada Edition is a lot of things I like about them. One, the nylon string on them, as well as these nets just open up. The bridles are perfect length, the horn on them is wide open, that way there's no separator in them like a lot of cast net companies use. I have big problems with the four-way separators in the horns. I love these nets, they're amazing quality, they're super soft mesh, but as well as they're durable enough to hold up through the everyday use that I put them through. Starting with number one here, I have my Betts Murata cast net. It's a 12-foot net, 3 8 mesh, 1.6 pounds a foot. This 12-foot net, I'm not allowed to take into Everglades National Park, but this is my around town net that I'll use around town as well as offshore. This 12-foot net is extremely heavy, so it sinks quicker in the deeper water. Certain bait that I'll be using this for is bait like thread fins, cigar minnows, ballyhoos, pilchards. This is a great all-around net that's extra large and sinks extra quick. The middle net that I have here is my mullet net. This mullet net is 10 feet long, so it's allowed everywhere that I go in the park. It's got a one inch mesh in it, so it sinks super quick, as well as designed for those bigger bait fish like the mullet. This net opens extremely well, and it sinks super quick. So whether you're catching mullet on the flat or catching mullet down deep, this net is perfect for catching mullet in any depth of water. The last net that I have is pretty much the net that I use every single day. It's a pilchard net. It's 3 8 mesh, 1.6 pounds per foot, so it sinks super quick, 10 feet long. This net is great for everyday use. I could also use this offshore. None of these nets are smaller than 10 feet. The reason that being is that the park limit in Everglades National Park, which I do a lot of travel into, their cutoff is 10 feet. I don't see any reason to own a smaller net than 10 foot. If you don't know how to throw a big net, watch the rest of the video. We're gonna show you how to throw a big net. Thank you guys for watching and make sure you click that subscribe button. We're going to be going over some techniques on how I throw all these nets and be serving some breakfast baby pancake style. Let's go. Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and start with the net that I throw every single day. It's a 10 foot net, 3 8 mesh, 1.6 pounds a foot. This is what I can catch pilchards with, I can catch thread fins with, I can, catch, I can even catch mullet with this net. This is the net that I pull out every single morning when I'm catching bait on my charter. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and just start from the very beginning. You're going to go ahead and you're going to grab your lanyard and it's going to have a loop on it. That loop, I just put that right on my wrist. And that, see how loose it is on my wrist? You want that loop to be loose. You don't want to go ahead and make a noose with it and put it around your wrist where it gets tight. If you're throwing where you can't see, you might hook into a manatee, a dolphin, something that's going to pull you in and you're not going to be able to get away. So whenever you're putting this thing on, you just want to go ahead and use the loop that's already manufactured in there and put it on your wrist. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead. Now I'm, I'm right handed, so I'm going to be going ahead and throwing everything on my left side to throw right handed. Nice. First you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and you're going to put this loop on your wrist. And then you're going to go ahead and take the lanyard, put it in your hand and start to make loops. I like loops about that big. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now I'm reaching the end of my lanyard. One more loop, eight. And now I'm gonna go ahead and slide this horn up. Once the horn is up, I'm gonna go ahead and choke up on this net. I'm gonna reach up about a foot on this net. So now in my left hand, I have the lanyard and the neck of my net. After that, it's only a 10 foot net. After that, what I'm gonna do is go ahead and drop it right here between my legs, reach down to right there at your belt buckle and put that in your same hand as well. So now I got all this net in my left hand. Once you got the net in your left hand, you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna grab a portion of it, make sure it's not tangled, and I'm gonna start to throw it over my right knee. Two, three. You want about a third over your shoulder, a third hanging, and a third in your hand. So this is the first one third. And I'm gonna go ahead and throw it under my arm and over my shoulder. 
Now, if you look, it's wide open here. You want this rope to be coming down your shoulder and the net to be open underneath. So now that I have that, I'm gonna go ahead and do one more third. Just go ahead and grab where your weights are at and whip it over your knee, right about there. I'm gonna check the rest of it since it's the first time I've thrown it, make sure there's no tangles. As you can see, there's a little bit of a tangle there. So now that's all tangle free, I'm gonna ditch some of the weight. So now that it's tangle free, I got a third in my right hand, a third hanging, and a third over my shoulder. So now I'm ready to throw. You don't want to throw the weights of this cast net. You want to use the weight of the cast net to create momentum and throw your net. So, if you watch when I spin, you see how all the weights start to fly out? That's what you want it to look like. You don't want to just throw your weights up in the air. I'm going to use the, the weight of the net to create momentum and get the weights flowing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to be throwing it right in this direction. I'm going to go ahead and go back, get the weights moving, and then now we'll go ahead and get them out and about. So let's now that we're ready, let's go ahead and throw. Back. Just like that. All right, so now that we've gone over the 10 foot 3 8 mesh that I catch pilchards with, I'm gonna go ahead and go over the mullet net. This mullet net, like I said before, it's 10 feet as well, but with a one inch mesh. So it's gonna sink quicker. It's also got a different style of lead to go ahead and close the whole thing down quicker on them. Same thing, just go ahead and put the, the noose right over my wrist, get my lanyard all ready to go. Grab my horn. I'm gonna go ahead and choke up on it a little bit, just like I did before. This net being a one inch mesh, the density is a lot less. So what you're gonna feel in your hand is gonna be a lot thinner than the three eighths mesh. The three eighths mesh is gonna be a lot thicker holding. This is much easier to hold the one inch mesh. So now that I've choked up on it, same thing. Go ahead and grab right there down by my belt buckle. Put that in your hand as well. And now that's all in my left hand, I'm ready to go. Go ahead and grab it. Throw a little bit over the knees, grab that outside rope, take the scoop under the arm and over the shoulder. Now I got one third over my shoulder and it's nice and open. Take it again and I'm gonna throw another third over my knee. Take a little bit more, just like that. No tangles, she's ready to go. So now that she's ready to go, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna get the momentum going to go ahead and get that weight out there. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do my everyday factor and try to throw over Boone. You've seen in my videos before, I've gotten pretty good at it. Sit. Go forward, back, over Boone. Just like that. All right guys, last net, my 12 foot net. And this is where things get a little bit tricky because it's such a big net. With such a small nest, there's a lot to hold in your hand. But it starts out the same as every other net. Noose around your wrist, nice and loose. Get your lanyard and your loops. Get your horn in order, nice and tight up top. Choke up on it. And now this is where you guys need to pay attention to throw these bigger nets. So I can't just take one handful. So I'm gonna have to slide down the net about three feet and put that in my hand as well. So now you have a lot to hold on to. So with the remaining part of the net, I'm gonna go ahead and grab right down there by my belt buckle and put that other loop in my hand. And it's a lot to hold on to. So make sure that you push it all down nice and tight. And now I got it all in my hand. Same thing, take a third. Throw it over your knee, over the shoulder. I got a third over my shoulder. One more third over the knee. Just like that. And now we're ready to throw. I can't throw this 12 foot net with Boone standing by my side on like the 10 footers. Come here, Boone. Sit. So now that we've got Boone out of the way, I've got two bags in my hand, a third over my shoulder, a third hanging.
hanging right here and a third in my hand. This net, you're gonna wanna get a lot of momentum to throw it out here. Same thing, I'm gonna go back to get it started. Back. Just like that. I caught a dog. All right guys, that concludes on the three nets that I use every day while charter fishing. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys smash that like button. Let's go over a few things here. So I normally typically carry two nets on me every single day. I carry a 10 foot 3 8 mesh. That's my pilchard net. I carry a 10 foot one inch mesh. That's my mullet net. Now when I'm sticking around town or going offshore, I have those two nets with me as well as my 12 foot 3 8 mesh net. That pretty much catches all the fish that you're gonna wanna catch down deep and in open places that you can throw such a big net. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. If you guys got any questions, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer all your questions as well as maybe put out another video on covering some more things. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe. If you're ever thinking about getting a dog and you think it's a good idea, stay tuned to the end and I'll show you all the stuff that I went through trying to make this cast net video for you guys dealing with Boone. Boone's normally a typically a very good dog. He's been a little rambunctious lately. Probably locked up, being quarantined like the rest of us. Let's just say it was nothing but a headache. I love having him on the boat, but by God, that was a lot of work. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned until next time. Until then, take it easy.